Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 71, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, The Sith Lords. We have been inching our way <laughs> out of Mira's hideout and down to the dock, hopefully to get back to the ship, fighting all sorts of Gand and Zug brothers and, and other various thugs and miscreants. Um all along the way. And here I thought we'd already exterminated all the gand in the area. Boy, was I wrong. Alright, so let's uh, let's see if we can finish making our way over here. Alright, there's just the two of them, right? They are set up for melee. Um, I don't like wasting grenades, but let's let's give it a try. Especially if he doesn't see it coming. Oh, good. We can lure him out one at a time. I like that. I love how this dude's fighting for his life just around the corner. And he's that one step around the corner enough that the other guy doesn't even notice. Like, dude just got massacred and what, because he, uh, that fraction of a wall is breaking line of sight? I wonder if he'll... Will that stun do anything? Nope. Attack him! Don't just stand there. There we go. Get up in his face. And stab it. Twice. Multiple times. Let's get a heal in there. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Atten's got, like, no hit points. He's not supposed to be leading stuff. Not like that. He's supposed to be the sneaky guy shooting stuff in the back. Alright. You guys ready? Ready as will ever be, huh? Alright. Can we get to the landing pad? Can we get some more of our party in here? Alright. So... That's to the docks. Wait. Did I just get turned around? I just got turned around. That's right, because I came to the, I came from the docks. I need to go to the landing pad. So that's the docks that I just came from. This should be to the landing pad. I don't know why it gave me that little... Oh, oh come on! <laughs> Oh. Oh, for serious. Okay. Okay, so this is the way it's going to be, is it? Uh, we're... <laughs> Let's drop that right there, shall we? And then we'll pop a melee shield. And, uh, ooh. no, it's not the melee shield I need. It's the energy shield I need. And it's not a clarity. It is stamina. And then we can go for the dude on the side there. Oh, never mind. Fine. I will also add a melee shield. And we'll start with trying to stun you. And then trying to attack you. I don't like the way this is going to go. I don't like this at all. I get a bad feeling about this. Uh, shoot. Let's back up. Let's get you switched over to melee. Let's get a shield. 
and stamina. And then an attack. Time to take you down to size. Wait a second. Did we just switch dance partners here? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. The med packs. Where's my tank when I need him? Oh, that's right. He got captured starting this whole thing. I hear you. Yeah. We're getting massacred as long as those guys out there are raining in blaster bolts. But I don't... I don't really have a good option here. Because it's not like I can run around and trick somebody into going around the corner. They, they executed a perfect ambush. Um, and I can't leave Atten alone too long because he just doesn't have he just doesn't have what it takes to to solo a little bit of melee. Um, let's uh, get another med pack in there and start doing this dance again. Oh, and mirror's gone. Shoot. Uh, does the little droid have a shield on? Why do you not have a shield, little droid? That's what I wanted. Alright, you, you just keep doing that. I gotta get Mr. Atten back into his uh, attack, med pack, attack, med, med pack routine. Attack and med pack and attack and med pack and I'm running out of med packs. Yikes! All right, uh, let's do this first. guys out. I don't have any more stun grenades. Throw a sonic grenade that way, and then we'll start uh, making my way over here. We'll get another med pack in play. Oh, I'm out of energy shields. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, these guys are up to 40 points, 100 points, 200 points. Oh, that's right. All right, uh, let's get this guy on first. Let's get a bigger med back in here. Yikes. Oh. That didn't go as planned. That did not go as planned. Or do I run?
Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. There's more. Is running an option? Running's working. combat in here, aren't I? Yeah, this is not, uh, this is not working out well. Alright, maybe I can work backwards. And do a shock arm. keeps getting back up, fighting for just another swing or two, and then disappearing, and then dying again. I don't know, maybe he can actually do some good while he's uh, busy doing his last stand. I didn't think I had this many uses of the shock arm. Or maybe that was my uh, infinite one. Credits, we got some. Alright, we got a nice edge for a sword. Alright, let's shock him up. Are they all dead? Cryoban grenades, some Mandalorian heavy armor. Hey, okay. So everybody finally, uh, finally, oh. I love how I'm getting all these blaster rifles, but nobody I know uses them. Or nobody I know yet uses them. All right. Static blaster? What is the Sistec static blaster? One to eight plus electrical? Hmm. Tell me more. Alright. So, uh, let's get Atten back in the lead. Let's try to get everybody healed up as best we can. And here everybody is, ready to talk and all that, too. We're, we're gonna, you know what, let me go ahead and save. Because I got a bad feeling there's gonna be another fight, like, right around the corner. And ain't nobody wants that. Alright, that gets everybody almost back up to full health. Oh, oh, I'm, I, I'm almost at the ship. Almost there. Stay on target. Oh. That's right, I gotta do the uh, transponder thing. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Let's go, uh, let's go talk. And actually, that helps just as well because that means we can do this. Keep trying to get everybody's uh, health back up to normal. 
We're out of combat, so that always helps. Oh. Alright, good to see you made it back, alright. Oh, okay. I have no idea what any of that was about, but okay. Uh, oh, no, that's a regular workbench, which means not not what I need for the med packs. Yeah, I see a shape. Is there someone there again? Yep. Welcome to Tina's shop. My eyes are old, but I can see you want something of me. <laughs> Don't you know? Can you change our ship's ID? You have blank transponder card, yes? Then I can do this for you. What ID signature do you want to use? Uh, ooh. One of the ID signatures received from B5D8. The Silver Zephyr... Those are the three ships that came in a little while ago. Uh, let's just go with one of them. Okay. Oh, so I could have done one of the others already. Interesting. It's done. Much luck to you, visitor. The Evan Hawk will be intercepted by Godo's yacht. Two party members will be able to board to save the exile. Who is the first person you want to send? Odor, because I know I'm going to need somebody with skills. Who's the second person? All right. Uh, ooh. Not Mira. Maybe Kriya or the Handmaiden. Uh, although I don't think I have the Handmaiden as leveled up as I would like. So... Mm. I love Atten dearly, but he just doesn't seem to have the durability to make it. Um, Kriya might. Although, with Baudur running up front and trying to tank all the melee type stuff, I might be able to let Atten sit back and do his, uh, his thing, and he'll actually have a heal as well. Uh, he doesn't have the force points of Kriya, though. I just, I don't think, she dies awfully quick, too. Let's go with Adden. Let's send these two soon to be, oh. There we go. Videos. Uh. Things. Oh, we're about to be intercepted. Loading. Please wait. They're fleeing! Running away on their... Hey! May not be much, but it's got it where it counts. No, they're gonna rescue their leader from Goto. That means they have a way to reach him. You are the bright one, aren't you? Follow that ship. All the space traffic around Nar Shaddaa should hide our pursuit. Yeah. Sure. I should probably just leave it on here until it looks like we're clearly back in adventure mode. Here's the yacht. Are we going to go for some good old yacht rock? Ask a Gen Xer. They'll know what I'm talking about. Alright, are we back to adventure mode? No, almost. Mm, I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the United non -sanctioned States trading. and Republic space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Uh, I am a Jedi. I have no ties to the Jedi Order. No, I turned from the Jedi long ago. Let's go with I have no ties to the Jedi Order. Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. 
being unfortunate. <laughs> uh, you have a strange way of asking for help. There are easier ways. Is that why you hired every bounty hunter and assassin? Um, there were easier ways to get my attention. Yes, but I am not in the habit of asking for things, and you were so difficult to find even after that small incident on Paragus. Yes, yes, Paragus was a small incident. I only blew up most of the asteroid field. It is broken. What <laughs> happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has <laughs> occupied much That's of my not attention. to be melodramatic. There seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. Uh <laughs> You chase me all over the galaxy to save it. You want me to help the Republic. Uh, you have to be joking. Uh, let me get this straight. You want me to help the Republic? In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not oh. due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. Well. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. The Republic's always Rather on the brink of collapse. And help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. Uh, how can I help? There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the hmm. ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Bazaar, oh. a Miraluka world in the Mid Rim, was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi. I have reason to suspect that too. Well, you had out of luck, because I'm not going to help you. I don't care what happens with the Republic. No, I'll do what I can. I don't want to see the Jedi wiped out. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be <laughs> put back together. I do yeah. not care which one triumphs. About that. You don't care which side wins as long as the Republic stays intact, but you remember the exchange, what does it matter? What do you care about the Republic? Uh, let's try that third one. You could say I am something of a patriot, although mm -hmm. I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan. I am able and willing to serve now. The problem mm -hmm. is find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. Well. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other, nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. I hate to break it, dude. If you're looking for a fair game, I have something to tell you, and it's going to make you sad. Alright, <laughs> maybe you should, oh, there we go, then maybe you should try Pazak. The Republic deserves to die, I don't care for the Republic. Well, I don't want to say the Republic deserves to die, and I'm not going to say I don't care for the Republic. So let's just go with, uh, well then maybe you should try Pazak. Pazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games, such as galactic economics. Who are you, Rast? <laughs> Okay, for context, uh, the other stream that I do on Tuesdays 
game uh, uh, for CoffeeCraft. The, it's all the Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server. Rayest on the CoffeeCraft server has been playing games w- with everybody on the server for a very long time. Uh, for a while there, we played the the uh, the Old Republic, the uh, MMO that came out. How far back was that? Never mind. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. It'll probably depress me. Anyway, a- and she was the one who was very good at cornering markets. Like if you needed items, materials, or just credits, you bring Rayest all the junk that you would like to get rid of, and she somehow miraculously converts it into a profit because she likes playing games with galactic economics. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll do what I can to help. That was my intention in the first place. It really is in your best interest, you know. It's in my there best interest no to do what I was planning on doing anyway. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. And the game will be over. Uh, this is not my battle. There are others who can handle this. I have no intention of stopping the stith. I have no problem helping if you set me free. Ah, uh, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot hmm. set you free. Why you not? Have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The dangerous reper- Look, those Sith fired at me. Right now, That's not my fault. Oh, okay. So you're just profiteering. <laughs> Maybe you should pay attention to troubles on your own ship. That sounds something wrong. What's that alarm? Okay. I, I haven't done many sarcastic remarks, but that's just a little too much. That That's too tempting for me. Well, okay then. Announcement. We seek to make Goto aware of our services, allowing us to facilitate communication and terminate hostilities in the galaxy. If that hm. means blowing up planets, slaughtering entire species, or oh. aligning ourselves with the Sith, then that is the logical choice. Our predecessor would never understand our directives. He was slow, weak, and his vocabulator was prone to static. Wait, um, your predecessor, you say? Okay. So it's gonna be like that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, I think I've got an ion grenade in there somewhere, don't I? Yes. Alright. Let's toss that. Let's pop an energy shield. And... Then we'll get a flurry on. And he's going to pop an energy shield. Get a stamina. And then try to do a stun droid. Oh. Stamina. And then start Attacking. I hear you. Ratio achieved. All right, come on. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. More serious. Advanced med pack. I'm gonna need to invest in some more med packs. Desperately. Oh, good. Atten's going to pop a heal, too. You're going to waste all your stupid heals on me, aren't you? Oh, 
came from. <laughs> That's a fun, uh... Time to even the odds. Oh, ah, uh, shoot. Patton's gonna fall again, isn't he? Alright, he'll stay alive as long as somebody's there. Come on, finish him quick, finish him quick. Stun him. All right, we'll take that. Let's go for the remains. Void system fortification. Nice. Quantum armor. Skills, which are why I brought you with me. Hmm. And... Alright, before I start talking to anybody else, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to level Atten up. Uh, we'll get his treat injury up a little bit more. Sure, we'll crank that up to 16. I don't know that any of that's going to help. His skills are a mess. His skills are such a hot mess. But I, I, I'm not really using any of them. Okay. And for feats, he's going to get Heroic Resolve. Okay. Uh, we got the dual weapons. We got the heavy armor. Ought to get him Flurry of some sort. We're not going to do any of the finesse. Uh, oh, the improved close combat. That's what I was going to look for. There we go. That means if I forget to switch him over to melee... It'll, it'll do far, far better. Alright, what's the one that I can raise up? Let's do the Force Wave. Or the Disabled Droid. Force Wave is better for when he's close up. Although there's a lot of droid. It looks like there's going to be a lot of droids on this ship. So let's go ahead. Let's do the Disabled Droid. <clears throat> there we go. And... Let's go ahead and save the game before we end up yakking anymore and ending up in combat and doing all sorts of other stuff. And this is where I'm going to say, if you're with me on the live stream, hang tight. I got one more episode to do, though they all run long. All these extra conversations happening at the weirdest times. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, the next episode will be out shortly. And I don't know if I'm going to pre-record another round before I pack up to move. I, I should have been mentioning that all this time. I'll, I'll talk about it again at the end of the next episode, too. But I'm moving soon. And so, uh, by the time this airs, I would like to hope that I've pre-recorded a few more. But we'll see. All right. Well... That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, 
even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.